And so then that took, you know, some efforts to, to collaborate with the right people in pharmacology and drug development. And we made a solid dose form of nitric oxide gas. And, you know, then we had to really create the market because mm -hmm. no one knew what nitric yeah. oxide was. We had a solution to a problem no one knew existed. Mm -hmm. So then the, the mission became, we have to go out and educate and inform several billion people on what nitric oxide is, why they should be concerned with it, and why they should consider taking a product that produces nitric oxide. And that's not and that, easy. No, that's not easy at all. I mean, the hardest thing is to re-educate, right? And so mm -hmm. when early on we realized that most patients and most consumers said, well, if my doctor said it was okay, I would take it. So then we switched and go, okay, now we got to go out and educate doctors, yeah. which is a very challenging task to imagine. go re-educate and really inform them that the principles and the fundamentals of medicine they learned in medical school were wrong. Yeah, that's difficult. That's very difficult because people spend hundreds of thousands of dollars, mm -hmm. <clears throat> four, six, 10, 12 years in their medical education, postgraduate, and then to go and tell them that the model in which they're practicing medicine and treating their patients is flawed. Yeah. And once, once you kind of see the forest through the trees, then you start to realize, okay, well, nobody's getting better in mm -hmm. Western medicine because they practice pharmacology. Right, you make a diagnosis, and then once you make a diagnosis, you have a finite list of things you can do to that patient because it's based on ICD-9, ICD-10 codes, yeah. reimbursement. It's the financial model of medicine. But you never address the root cause of the disease. Mm -hmm. So what we're trying to do is transform the way not only physicians think about their patients, but the way the patients think about their own health. And what we know about nitric oxide is that the onset and progression of most, if not all, chronic diseases can be attributed to the functional loss of nitric oxide. Mm. And the hallmarks of every single chronic disease are low blood flow, poor circulation, inflammation, oxidative stress, and immune dysfunction. Yes. And when we give nitric oxide, you improve blood flow and circulation, you reduce inflammation, you inhibit mm. oxidative stress, and you suppress the immune response, the okay. immune dysfunction. So it's really the, the holy grail in, in medicine. It gets to the underlying root cause of most, if not all, chronic diseases. Yeah, which is surprising then that most doctors would not already have a good understanding of it to begin with, right? Well, it's not taught in medical school. You know, this is a still a new discovery in, in medicine, a Nobel Prize in 98. Um, you know, when I was at UT Medical School at, at Houston, I taught a course called the, the Molecular Basis of Cell Signaling. Mm -hmm. And that was really the only course. It was only the MD-PhD students. It wasn't your regular <clears throat> medical students. It was an elective course for your MD, PhD, your physician, scientist. And I think that's the only, I mean, maybe in a little bit of physiology, mm -hmm. um, maybe just a touch in pharmacology when you talk about drugs like Viagra and Cialis and phosphodiesterase inhibitors, mm -hmm. there's an involvement of nitric oxide. So <clears throat> there may be a mention of it, but certainly not a comprehensive understanding of what nitric oxide is and does yeah. in the human body and how it contributes to the onset and progression of chronic disease. 